Okay. All right. Well, the, the IRMEP's lawsuit uh, in federal court uh, is uh, long overdue, but I dare say they face an uphill uh, uphill battle uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, Israeli interests in the Jewish lobby in the United States has perfected the art of creating bogus charities and bogus nonprofits for the purpose of collecting uh, millions, millions of dollars in the United States in addition to the, uh, in addition to the uh, regular appropriations uh, that the United States uh, uh, Congress appropriates to support um, uh, various uh, and nefarious uh, Israeli projects, including their their nuclear uh, program, and uh, a lot of distinguished persons in the United States have brought up the fact that Israel is not a signator to the Non-Proliferation Treaty. And as a matter of fact, in a recent interview, the former Israeli President Shimon Peres basically grinned and thumbed his nose at the fact that no, Israel is not, and he acknowledged their nuclear uh, their nuclear program as a uh, as a deterrent so um, it's going to be interesting to see if this uh, lawsuit uh, even uh, advances beyond the uh, uh, initial motions uh, to dismiss um, it's important to note that the United States judiciary is not truly independent when it comes to uh, external forces and political forces. The United States judiciary is festooned with uh, Jewish judges that maintain dual Israeli citizenship. And uh, more often than not, when judges have a conflict of interest, whether it's an appearance of a conflict of interest or a blatant conflict of interest, they do not recuse themselves. And the famous Israeli dual citizenship before the U.S. Supreme Court uh, back in the 1960s, the uh, uh, Jewish justice did not recuse himself. And I dare say if the uh, uh, plaintiff in this case uh, runs in, and this case is assigned to one of those types of judges, uh, they're going to have an uphill battle. You might also find that the United States government itself will file an amicus curiae brief um, against the uh, against the plaintiffs and in defense of uh, the Jewish state. So while this is a welcome, while this is important uh, to shed sunlight on the fact that the Israel is receiving dollars, money. Uh, in violation of law, because they have a, a nuclear program that is uh, illegal in international law, and the United States is not saying anything about it while it is pursuing, aggressively pursuing Iran, I doubt that the litigation will proceed to judgment because the, the legal process in the United States is not stacked in favor of real justice when it comes to these types of, of matters. It is very, the United States judiciary is very politicized. 